Hi there, and welcome to Rookie Races. I'm Andy, and this is Low Fuel Motorsport Rookie League on Assetto Corsa Competizione. Here are the qualification results, and you can see we re placed respectably at P11 with a 1 minute 30.4. Just casting your eye down the order there, you might want to keep an eye out for Jan Holtzberg, Michel Fratellino, uh, Marco Zordan, and Andre Aminimov as they are going to feature in this race. <laughs> So as we join the action just coming through the final chicane and into the home straight, getting to the second part of the start procedure, closing up, closing up behind Oloski here, probably want to give him a bit more of a gap than that as we hit the green lights and we're off. Pretty decent start, you can see it being closed on, in on by the Audi behind us, we go through the first turn, we managed to survive, keeping it clean through, a little bit of contact behind us there but everyone seems to get through pretty, pretty cleanly. Into turn two, keeping it safe. We can see Zordan quite large in our rear mirrors there. Go through a gentle right, need to keep it flat here. Running it out wide, I'm a little nervous, I can't see my brake point, so I move to the inside brake way too early, and that allows Zordan right up on us. He has to brake sharply to get out from under us. Coming down probably the longest straight in the circuit into the first chicane, Kleiner. Heavy braking. We need to try and cut the curves as best you can, but on cold tyres, and in front of us there, we've lost Costly White. He's taken a taken a trip into the gravel. I think he just lost it on the exit of the second curve there. Very easy to do. Into the second chicane now, another very slow speed chicane where you can cut quite heavily. And the exit here is really important. We get a decent exit, sticking very closely with the lost gears. We come round the kink here, over the bridge and down towards the first hairpin. Packed decently spaced, I can't see any overtaking opportunities here, so we're heavy on the brakes. We get around pretty cleanly. And now we've got Anthemoth, big in our uh, rear view mirror there as we come in towards the final chicane. Not too worried about this under braking, he can't really get past us here, but he puts it really close again. I feel like, I feel like everybody's got better brakes than me and they can brake a lot later. It's probably just a skill issue. That's lap one under our belts. Not the world's best, uh, not the world's best lap, but we kept it clean, no contact. We've gone a bit wide there on the first turn. But that's going to allow him to attack us on the outside of this corner. He's cleaned through before we can get into the apex, so he's made the pass. Hopefully we're going to get back, and Zordan's closing back in again now. Sounds like a super villain. We're going to be seeing a lot of him up close in our mirrors in the next few laps. I've got a little bit squirrely on the exit there, but he's held it together well now, coming down to Kleiner again. Heavily onto that second curb, but doesn't unsettle the car, we're able to get back on the path. Down into the Villeneuve, she came for the second time, heavy braking, Zordan nearly goes into the back of us and does well to avoid us. Clean there, we just see Oloski has a little bit of a moment there, which is allowing us to close in on him. Not under too much pressure at the moment though. Chicane's a great overtaking point. And Zordan again has to avoid us. He's either going in extremely hot or we're being very tentative on the brakes there. Down towards the final chicane again, it's blocked. Decent line through there, we're staying with the pack ahead of us. Qualified 11th start, and we're maintaining 11th position here. That's lap two under our belts. Again, pretty clean. We're going to just uh, skip forward here to lap five. It's still the same pack, still hanging on. Zordan's still behind us, so not a lot of change. Pretty clean through that little sequence there as we come into the fast right-hander. Zordan's keeping about a five, four or five tenths behind us and we're coming down to Kleine again. Hit that curve really hard, it's almost like we turned into it rather than going straight over it, but we managed to hold the car, didn't lose too much time. Coming towards the Villeneuve nerve chicane again, heavy braking on the right. Amphimov looks like he's lost it though, he's just hit the outside curve a bit too hard and he can't correct. 
He's off and we're through into ninth. Towards the hairpin. Let's watch how mirrors again, see how close Zordan gets. Oh, he's nearly through us again, but he just he just takes last minute avoiding action there, runs off slightly to the left, but I don't think it's gonna hurt him too much. He's only dropped about a second behind us. I have a feeling he'll make that back, he's pretty quick. I mean takes box again, get that slightly wrong, a little bit a little bit scrappy through that chicane. So coming to the end of lap five, we're still in ninth position and we're gonna advance a couple of places over the next few laps, but going to be pretty much more of the same so we're going to highlight those incidents and then jump ahead a couple of laps. Firstly you'll see here car number 11 currently first place man Marco Candino. This is just a few moments before the clip we just saw coming into the final chicane and accelerating down the start finish straight. He's looking pretty good he's got a decent gap there ahead of the white Ferrari behind him. Positioning himself online, and I think he's just got it wrong there. He's, I think he's late on his brake. He's late on his brakes, and he's run off. And that'll be the end of the race for him. He's going to call it a day there. The second clip here, we see um, Michel Fratellino and Arpad Divas battling there, and Divas has taken the inside line and absolutely <laughs> finished off Michel Fratellino there. Fratellino though will rejoin later. Speaking of rejoin, here we are back on lap seven. I'm up to seventh place with those two off tracks and uh, we've still got Zordan tight behind us and Ben in front of us battling with Oloski. A little bit wide there on turn two but we're able to accelerate well. Zordan's not giving us any quarter, he's still keeping us uh, well within his sights. Coming down towards the first chicane now, oh, he's gone wide there off into the gravel, that loses us a few tenths and allows Zordan to close in ever so slightly. Breaking just after the 100 there. Oh, Ben's gone off ahead of us. We take the <laughs> we take the chicane reasonably well. Trust me, that was reasonably well, even though it was a heavy contact with the kerb. Ben manages to rejoin just in front of us, but he's got dirty tyres. He's going to have trouble braking for the second chicane here. Oh, very heavy on the braking, forces us to slow right down. I missed my line completely, and Zordan's right on top of us. He's closed that second gap in no time at all. Sprinting out, out of that chicane now and around the corner up over the bend. We've gone a little bit wide there as well. Zordan's got us right in his sights. He's less than three tenths behind us now. He's looking to the inside. We know he's good under braking here. He's nearly run into us a couple of times. And I have to stay wide to let him through and he's got the place. Great pass from Zordan there. No contact. I was reluctant to give up the position, but he definitely had us there. And that's let the Goyer in behind us as well now in the Audi. He was giving us pressure off the start line, if you remember. So we're through the third and final chicane for the seventh time now. We're just going to have a look at that pass from Zordan's camera. You can see as we're coming into the Villeneuve chicane, he's got a good side of us and I've had to slow right down. Again, he's had to brake really hard to avoid hitting us there, but he's got a good line through the chicane and is able to keep with us really closely. A much better line than me there. You can see I'm about to go wide here. Yep, just nudging the dirt. Zordan knows he can beat us under braking into this corner. He's done it many times. This time he doesn't have to avoid us. We have to avoid him as he takes the inside line and makes a beautiful clean pass there. Through the left-right kink he goes and down towards the final chicane to secure his position. So we're skipping ahead again now. We're on lap 12. Last couple of laps of the race. We managed to keep it close to Zordan here and we take a decent line through turn one. Accelerating hard and using all the exit curve as we come into turns two and three. 2.3 second gap is going to be difficult for us to close, I would suspect. As we're coming to the straight and down towards Kleiner, we're still sticking with them. We've maybe not to tenth off them in the last couple of corners. I feel like I'm fast through this section. Decently taken, not too heavy on the curbs. You can take them a lot heavier and not lose any time, but at the moment I'm just a little bit concerned about getting it all wrong and taking the car out. So we're coming for the Villeneuve chicane again. Let's see how the line is to this. Or oh, late on the brakes there, but managed to recover it in the second part of the chicane. Not too much time lost. A little lift there just to hold it on the track as we come round through this very fast right hander in third gear and over the bridge. And you'll see in our rear view mirrors we've got Holzberg who's just come out of nowhere, Jan Holzberg. Oh, Zordan's made a mistake there in the chicane, maybe he was braking a bit late. But I definitely broke too early there and Holzberg's right on our tail. 
coming down into Xbox again. Not an overtaking place. Holtzberg's uh, able to break pretty well, but he's not able to gain too much time on us there. I'm very aware of how close he is. I'm really trying to keep it clean and get as much speed as I can into the start finish straight to open up a gap. Gone from five tenths to eight tenths now. Oh dear, I've broken a bit late there. Missed the apex. I'm very brave on the power managed to hold it. Not supposed to gain the tenth on us in that corner. This is a bit messy. Not good, late on the power again. I think Holzberg will gain some time on us here. Maybe he's in a similar issue, he hasn't. We're gaining on Zordan as well. That mistake's cost him time and we've uh, closed about a second on him. Oh, we've gone wide there. That's going to cost us a few tenths. Yeah, Holzberg's up to four tenths now. We can see him in the mirrors. Breaking a little cautiously there. He has a little sniff up the inside. I don't think he really, I don't think he really meant it. But he's very close now, three tenths, that's prime overtaking position. Into Villeneuve, pretty decent line through there, pull it back to the left to get a good entry into this right-hander. I think I've got that pretty good, I've managed to get a tenth back on him. To come through the fast right-hander and over the hill again. He's gone wide, he's gone wide on that fast right-hander, that might give us another tenth, it has. Coming into the hairpin now, where I'm clearly not very good. It's a prime opportunity for Holtzberg to close on us, but we get the line okay. Cut the corner quite heavily, but it doesn't cost us any time, and we've eked out another tenth over Holtzberg there. Xbox again, these laps are so short, these turns seem to come up very, very quickly. Pretty clean through that, able to get on the power pretty early. I think I've eked out another tenth over Holtzberg there, just widening the gap. This will be the final lap now. Lap 14. Got to keep my head and keep it together, try not to lose any more positions, but I've gone really wide there. Had to hold off the power and apply more brakes than I wanted to. I think Holtzberg had a similar problem though, because he's still half a second back. Oh, I've got that all wrong as well, going to go very wide here. Don't hit the track limits and somehow managed to increase the gap by a tenth on Holtzberg. He must have had a, made a similar mistake. This is a little tidy, but again, I missed the, missed the apex by a mile, but at least I don't run wide. He's closing though, he's gained a couple of tenths on us now. He's going to appear in our mirrors any second as we hit the brakes for Kleiner. Take it well. Oh, I think he's gone. Yep, if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see he's had an incident. Fratellino's gone into the back of him. Fratellino probably smarting from the incident of the Villeneuve chicane many laps earlier. Thought, oh, I'll have some of that. And he's gone straight into Holzberg. So we've uh, switched the onboard view of Holzberg here as he sights us down the, uh, the straight going into Kleiner likes the look of what he sees and you can see in his mirrors here comes Fratellino like a rocket ship it's not a heavy contact but it's enough to completely spin for spin Holzberg and uh, the challenge that was has gone I'm just gonna look at it one more time I'm not sure what that flashing's all about he's not going faster than anyone else well I mean he is he's late on the brakes here <coughs> Yeah, I think actually there's nothing intentional there for Fratellino, although he probably could have, I don't know, he could have taken any avoiding actually. I think he was out of control because of the way he hit the second curve on the, on the, uh, on the, um, on the chicane. Anyway, safe to say that was the last little bit of eventful action in the race, and here we are taking the chequered flag, flag, chequered flag, a decent eighth place there then. Good result from an 11th from 11th on the grid to finish 8th in about a 1400 uh, strength of field. And there's the classified results. 8th position for us, only 4 instant points, decent safety rating gain, and uh, should be some decent ELO from that race. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like to see more of this, please subscribe. But leave me a like and a comment. If you'd like to give me any feedback, I am open and uh, welcome all feedback uh, of all natures, as long as, you know, try and keep it positive. Otherwise, I might just ignore you if you're going to be mean. Anyway, leave me a like, do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.